All right, fishing in Pattaya. Well, Pattaya is for many things, mostly partying, staying in resort, relax on the beach. But today we're leaving from Pattaya Pier to catch some squid at night and catch big game fish the next day. So it's 24 hour fishing trip with friends in food and beverage industry. So let's have some fun today. It's raining a little, but not too bad because little rain can be better than being too hot and sunny. As you know, heat in Thailand can be brutal. So here we are at the pier. We're gonna park our car and you see there's a white boat already there waiting for us. So we're gonna move our gear and get on the boat. You can park your car right at the pier. Uh, they charge you 100 baht for parking fee. But it's not worth it. You don't walk too much. Carry all the heavy fishing here. Pay now? <laughs> he doesn't take credit? <laughs> the boat we're getting on this time is seven seater boat, so it's seven people max. And it's 24 hour fishing trip, so we start at 5 pm and we'll do some squid fishing and we sleep on the boat and wake up in the next morning to yeah. some big game fish good, good. jigging Very good. or using some light bait and this whole trip costs 12,000 baht and captain will provide breakfast and lunch so it's a pretty good deal uh -oh. so if you have a group of friends who uh, want to try fishing in Pattaya I recommend this boat alright let's go The sea is pretty calm, so that's a good thing. I was really worried about getting seasick. Last time I got on the boat for fishing, it was pretty ugly. It was a tiny little boat. We caught a lot of fish, don't get me wrong, but it was it was even hard to it was even hard to stand on the boat. So this time the sea was calm, I was pretty happy. So we say goodbye to Patia City and heading to Squid Spot first. Here we are, we got to the squid fishing spot, kept in light of the green light to attract the squid. And we use egging lures that mimics shape of shrimp, which squids love. And we started jigging with our rods. I didn't have any specialty egging rods or any light rods, so I just used my decathlon basic rod. So the captain told us to sink down the lower down to about 3 to 5 meters and start jigging. So we started jigging the egging lower and or doing the shack reactions that we saw from YouTube video. We tried for a while but man it wasn't easy. So we tried and tried for about half an hour but all we all only see squid passing by our lures and blue crabs passing by. And as we were getting tired kept in cap catching <laughs> squid after squid. So my boy Sam decided to use a trick that Captain uses, the good old shampoo bottle. So this is a shampoo bottle wrapped around with fishing line with egg and ore. So what you gotta do is just drop it and shake it as fast as you can, jerk it as fast as you can. And here we are, 
We got the first speed of the night. First speed of the day. All right. So I teach my fishing rod, decided to use what Sam was using, the good old shampoo bottle. And one thing I noticed is while, while I was using my rod was the line gets tangled a lot if you do this action. So either you need egging specialty rod or just go with good old shampoo bottle. One thing about using this shampoo bottle is you get tired pretty fast because this is a lot of jigging, jerking or shaking. So we decided to switch back to our rod. It still works. So Sam got another one and all the other buddies were getting a few squeeze. So it's all good. enough fun with um, chicken squid but uh, we need a lot more squids to use as light bait for tomorrow's big game fish fishing so the captain decided to use a net to catch a lot of squids at one shot That's it for the night and we're gonna get some sleep on the boat and get ready for tomorrow's action. Rise and shine. It's a good day for fishing. It's sunny and bright so the sea is beautiful so we're gonna get our gear first have some breakfast and get right to fishing What's the wind? and the crews prepare some nice breakfast for us. They make kanji, kalto uh, omitai with squid and bunch of fish we caught last night. It's a pretty healthy meal and enough carb to give us energy for the day. Try some jigging with metal lure first. Um, Captain said the right depth is 30 meters. What we're targeting today is queen fish and king mackerel. So you gotta throw your lure, make it sink down to 30 meters. So I got my line around 45, so I'll just let it go, let it sink for a while. 
when it hit the bottom, I'll just uh, pull it up a few more few rounds and I'm gonna start jigging. I feel a little bite, so I know it's not a big fish, but it's still fish, so I start pulling it up. And there we go, we got a little pink fish, I don't even know the name of it, but I still got fish by jigging, so it was my first sea jigging, it was cool. And it's too small to eat or do anything with it, so I'm gonna throw in the tank and use it as a light bait later. So you can see I'm using 60 gram metal lure with bright orange color with two assistant hooks. After I landed my first fish, I got seasick pretty bad. The sea started rocking really hard. So I decided to take a long nap. The stuff said I couldn't get all the actions on the video, but all the buddies had fun just catching little fish. We didn't catch much that day. The captain was saying the sea was too calm or it's not wavy enough to bring all the big fish to our boat. But we still had fun, you know what they say, there's never a bad day on boat. And we still got to take some squid back home to enjoy with our family. My boy was waiting at home for the squid that I cast, so fortunately yeah, I could bri bring some back to him. So we cleaned the squid together, get our hands dirty, have some fun. Do you